2021 Gazelle Ultimate C380 Plus. Hey gang, this is Mike with MrNoFluff.com and today I'm going to give you an honest owner's review of a bike that I have 700 miles on in just a short term, which is basically two weeks. I don't have the exact number the, the day that I bought it. I'm actually doing a tour. I've done 24 miles already, and I still have, haven't hit my destination. Plus, I have to hit back. So today, I'll do at least like 60 to 70 miles. Um, but I want to give you an honest review now that I'm out here on the trail. Uh, I'm on a tour right now uh, of this bike. Let me put a disclaimer out there. I don't have a dog in the race. That means that uh, I bought this bike with my own money. Um, this is I'm not a reviewer, you know, we know that reviewers if they get bad reviews They're probably not gonna get a bike to review from that company again or other companies So this is an owner's review of a bike that I paid cash for um, And I'm gonna sh If you stick to the end, I'm gonna show you how you can get one of these bikes for free um, By using my idea. Okay, so stick around. So this is a gazelle ultimate C 380 plus I have 700 miles on it uh, in two weeks or around two weeks um, and this bike is totally different than any other bikes that I've owned instead of having a chain it has a timing belt and in the back it has this German made hub Eviola or something like that and it's the higher version the tracking version I've been probably pronouncing it wrong um, now there are some benefits, amazing benefits to that, okay, but there are some also negative uh, consequences, side effects because having that versus a chain. And the reason I know is because I like this bike so much that my my I recommended to my brother. He bought one. I bought one for my wife. Um, so I'm giving you an honest review. I put my own money in here, uh, over ten grand, and so. I'm, just wanted to take your time because before this I owned a 2021 uh, track Damani HP plus I bought it I think over eight thousand five hundred dollars for it or roughly around eight thousand five hundred and in the first 17 days I was in a bike shop guys no joke I put my kids on it seven times and it was just nothing but a headache and then they gave me another bike and that bike with nothing but a headache broke down the first day and I was having numerous problems with it. Okay, if you want to learn about what problems I had, there's a link below or above or look into my YouTube channel and just type in track Domani HP Plus problems. Okay, so, but, so I had to do more research and I came to this company Gazelle and I learned about them that they're, you know, 125 years old and how um, they were making stuff in their own factory unlike let's say track that's making it in Japan or in Taiwan that they're not even a factory they just stick their label on it okay so uh, and you know how they do things and once I rode the bike once I saw the bike I saw that it had quality parts instead of like for example in-house brand like a track uses bum guard which is they own and I'm not bashing them but it's not as great quality as Schwabi, right? So, you know, the two different business models. One is, you know, they're trying to maximize profits, where the other one is they're trying to put good quality parts on your bike so you don't have a breakdown and you can go for a while, right? So that's the biggest difference that just I'm seeing from an American-made company, which is just tailored into, number one, massive profits, which I totally understand. I'm an entrepreneur. I've owned three businesses that, are, that made me multi-millions of dollars. Uh, I own real estate, uh, and you know, sure, I, I wasn't happy with accumulation and ended, ended donating most of the stuff to the homeless. But I can tell you that I, I can appreciate a company versus instead of profits, they're more into their employees and making quality bikes with quality parts. For another example is that besides the tires are top notch, you know, I'm getting a four piston, you know. Um, braking system which is pretty amazing it's so powerful not only that in the front I'm getting a hundred and eighty rotor which is that little piece right there um, which is pretty big and on the back I'm getting a hundred and sixty uh, you probably can't see that great because I have all my gear on there so the back is a little smaller which is great because you know if you don't have all your gears and you're not you're not gonna be skidding out 
Uh, and when you really need brakes, the front is where it's going to be at. You know, most bikes are not even, doesn't have that caliber on a commuter or they don't even have four pistons. They may have one, two, etc. Okay. Um, now, I have done some upgrades to the bike. Now, have I had any problems with it? I haven't had any problems with it besides, you know, the dealer um, not knowing how to put the things up. Like the timing belt wasn't tightened correctly. The handlebar and the, what is it called? The um, quick release. You know, when I bought it, I, I rode it home from, you know, from the store. And I noticed the squeaking noise and I had to fix that myself. Okay. So, um, but besides that, you know, there was this little thing, this uh, preloader was stuck. I took it to the dealer. They, put, they, you know, they moved it, now it moved perfectly. So, um, but besides that, nothing like, you know, my last bike track that I spent, you know, at least 35, 45% more than this. Now, I'm super, I was super impressed. Like I said, with this bike, I went and bought my wife one. I, I recommended it to my brother. Uh, one of my students bought it. Some other YouTube viewers said they're gonna buy it. Um, so, you know, uh, again, I don't have a affiliate link or anything like that. Um, I don't have a skin in the game. I'm just bringing it to you because, you know, I love high quality stuff. One of, one example is that on the grips that came with the bike, you know, they didn't have the extensions, but they had these Aragon, whatever the grip is, MP5, which is amazing, you know? I mean, like, usually you, you have to buy that yourself and it's like 60 to 85 bucks. Um, they included in there, the seat is amazing. Um, not, I mean, it is, it's not the best if you're in the hot area like where I am because it doesn't have any cuts through it to cool you off, but you can always change that. That's not a big deal. Uh, now I did put some accessories on this bad boy. Uh, let, let's go on the top. I did put these little uh, horns on here. I, I found them to be pretty, very good. I did put this little, um, little bag on here. Um, pretty useful. Just now waterproof. Forgot the name of the company, but I bought it from REI. Um, now, I did change the pedals and put these things called Looks Mountain Gear. Normally, I only sport Spanx, which is a different brand, but they're very, very aggressive and they always eat my feet. So this time I said, let me try something else because on all my bikes, I put Spanx on there. And I'm very happy with this one because it's not that aggressive, but it still does the same thing as Spanx without eating my feet. So uh, I'm glad I tried something different. No disrespect to Spanx brand. They're, they make great pedals. They last a long time. Uh, but, you know, for more of a commuter, I think this is more of a perfect thing for me versus mountain hiking. Um, you know, I got my bags from Ortley's. That they make great products. The, the, the back bag, the rear bag. You know, got my little speakers from Go Zero, which is pretty amazing. My uh, water cups, guys. Th th these are amazing because on this one I have hot tea, uh, and it stays hot for a long time. And on this one I'll put in like ice in there, and I put coconut juice, like organic coconut juice. And then I have other ones that I have water in there, and they stay pretty cold for a very long time. So instead of putting a plastic, which cools, I mean warms up or cools off very fast. I opt it out for a little bit more weight, but uh, when I drink it, it's amazing. Now this kickstand, this kickstand's been amazing as well, man. It's been holding my stuff. I've been, again, every time I go out, I do at least 30 to 50 miles minimum uh, every time I go out. So uh, kickstand's been amazing. The tires have been amazing. Uh, overall, man, I, I, I've been very stoked about this bike. Uh, very, very nice. I uh, haven't had any problems with anything. It's very enjoyable to ride. The, the geometry for sitting is amazing. Now, one thing to know is that these bikes uh, that these bikes sit a lot larger. So when they only have three sides. So when you get to them, you're going to feel like, holy moly, this is big. But you jump on it, right? And you start riding it. Now, if you can't adjust the seats and you can't, you know, you get to it, it's at the very, very bottom and you can't, go, you needed to be there, then I would say it was too big, okay? But if, if, if it looks too big or you, you get on top of it and it hits your private parts, especially if you have this high high step, but you have to have to raise the seats um, to get a full extension, then I would say that, that's the right size for you because that's how it is for me, okay? Um, because these guys only have three sizes. It's not like uh, a real sport bike where you, you know, two, 
two size difference. Okay. Um, everything on the bike, you know, comes with it. Amazing racks, amazing lights, amazing fender. Um, tires are amazing, guys. You know, um, the grips were amazing. I just wish they had the horns on there or option to get that. Uh, you know, one, one thing is that if you're going to order these, if you have the timing belt one, if you're going to order these, make sure you get the ones, don't make the mistake I did, make sure you get the ones that has the uh, Nexus or roll-off switch. But I couldn't find it, so that's why, you know, I didn't really make a mistake. I just bought it because I, I was tired of waiting because they were all out. So I was like, screw it, dude. I do too many miles. Excuse my language. Anyways, guys, um, now, uh, before I tell you how you can get this for free, um, is let me also tell you, you know, I have 700 miles on this bike, okay, and I haven't had any problems, knock on wood. Uh, amazing bike. There is a little difference between if you had a chain versus if you had the drive belt. If, for example, the Ultimate, they make the Ultimate uh, T, T Plus, which is the chain version, and everything looks the same. Everything else is basically the same. Um, that one's going to be a lot sportier, a lot faster, a lot more responsive than the, this timing belt, okay? And the reason I know is because my wife has a TT Plus, but she has the other model, which is the Mondi or something like that. And that thing is so fast and so efficient because when we go out and we'll do like 60 miles, she'll come home with like three bars where I'm already out. So um, there's a big difference between the, you know, the other model down the Mondi great you know especially if you get the tt plus you know you're getting great value great shock great everything you know uh, the engine is the 28 miles an hour just besides you get the chain or if you want to get the luxury the ultimate um then then they have the tt plus model which is everything like this just drive shaft is different the engine is the same everything's the same now in this model they have the low step or mid step and high step but um guys if you want a sporty one you know, you would definitely want to get the chain, okay? I mean, like, it's really faster. It gives you, like, almost whiplash. I was so amazed by it by just driving my wife's bike, and she's just, she's just small. She's 4'3", and I'm six foot, but I was able to still ride that bike pretty comfortably. Um, so, man, it's a big difference in efficiency, like, the battery and pedaling, okay? Now, if you get the timing belt one, the C380, you know that it's going to take at least, like, 250 the 500 miles for it to break in to become smooth because when I first got it, there was so much resistance pedaling that I was getting knee aches. I was like, holy crap, excuse me. Um, so anyways, guys, this is an amazing bike. I'm happy with the purchase. Like I said, we purchased three more uh, for, for the family and now we go do long miles. We've always done long miles. I usually go do 50 miles every time I go out. The wife comes to, she usually pulls the trailer because I had an injury. So anyways, guys, now, how can you get a bike like this? This bike costs $5,000. How can you get a bike like this uh, with tax and everything for free? Well, it's called the new flip. The new flip is, an, is a game or business idea, but what I call best hustle that I've created where it works in any market, in Canada, Great Britain, America, it doesn't matter, which deals with motivated sellers and is shows you how to buy bicycles for motivated sellers at a deep deep discount and then sell it at a discount so it moves very very fast and you're able to turn a hundred bucks very very fast buy one bike for a hundred bucks that's you know worth 500 bucks or a thousand bucks for just a hundred and then turn around and sell it for 500 to 600 bucks and sell it really really quick like in a matter of hours or days um because you're price in the below the, the, the market and the reason you're able to because you bought it from at a deep discount i've created a course a training video course a book a manual where it's just a copy and paste i call it copy and paste just copy and paste the um information go to facebook go to craigslist message people and you're going to find motivated sellers that you know don't need a bike anymore they're cleaning out their garage or they just need to sell because they need some money to pay their light bill and and I show you, you can pay more than the pawn shop and still make 200, 300, 400, 700 percent probability of uh, return off just a hundred bucks. You don't have to get into debt. You don't have to borrow money. You don't have to, you know, get a handout for Big Brother. All you need is just follow the system. Okay, it works in any area. Okay. Um, now, can you lose your hundred bucks? Yes, you can lose your hundred bucks, but it's so much better than having a job, or so much better than getting into debt to start a business. By getting borrowing 100, 200, 300, 
to start a franchise and then go under. So this business shows you everything you need to know to start making money today while you learn about what I call flipping bicycles, okay? The new flip. Once you learn this idea, then you can apply it to anything. You apply it to real estate. That's what I teach my students. And when they try to come into to me to do real estate, I put them to flipping bikes because if they can't flip bikes, which means they can't find motivated sellers and, you know, get a 300, 400% return, then they're all the success as doing real estate sucks. So why am I telling you that? Well, if you do the new flip, all you need is a hundred bucks to find motivated sellers. It's a copy and paste messaging system. You message people and you'll find motivated sellers in all areas. And I have testimonials from different students in different parts of the world. Okay. And you know, you can find nice bikes, Buy them at a deep, deep discount. Sell them at a deep, deep discount. So they move very, very quickly. And you can rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. So you, so you can do a lot of deals. And then you can buy one of these bikes of five grand for free. That's exactly what I've done. Okay. So this is that's the secret. If you're interested in getting the new flip, where I teach you how to flip bicycles, buy them for motivated sellers in your own backyard, then please check the link below. If you could click the link, the like button. I'd love to hear your comments. If you have any questions about the Gazelle, you know, the sizing, I'm a six foot. This is a 57 uh, size, the large size. Uh, it does have the locking brake system. If you want to know more about the actual details of this bike, I've done two other reviews about it. So look look at my playlist or my YouTube channel and do a quick search because I've gone through all the details. I just want to do a 700 mile review of my 2021 Gazelle um, Ultimate C380, okay? Uh, it's been an amazing bike. In two weeks, I've done 700 miles on it. It's awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Click the like button. Much love to you. Love to hear your comments. Don't take no for answer. And always remember, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and twice as beautiful as you ever imagined. Peace. Romy.